<laughs> Here we are after the Black Labyrinth. Bloop. The Black Labyrinth was, dude, the Black Labyrinth is badass. Um, we played through it in two days on stream, and dude, I loved every fucking minute of it. Um, we're continuing the main campaign after completing it. That's why we got these. And uh, we don't have the axe yet. We got, I guess we got to find it. Why are we doing that? There we go. You ever find yourself in a situation where you're looking through your games on your computer and you don't know what you're going to play? And you scroll through like a hundred games and you're like, dude, I don't know what the fuck to play. I was in that situation about 20 minutes ago. And then I was like, bro, let's just fire up Medieval. Nobody's going to watch this. I mean, literally, like, maybe five people are going to watch this. But I struggle with finding uh, and deciding on a game to play that I think people are going to want to watch. And honestly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I pick, right? And, and it, honestly, it doesn't matter what you pick either. Because, uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's what you're doing. Like, if you're making a video on tips and tricks or a review and you're that's what you do you have, you got to be super niche you got to pick a niche a niche niche whatever however you fuck you say that word with uh with your channel or nobody's really gonna watch your shit and i can't do that and i mean i like playing games and i like recording videos and and sharing that shit and um you know doing half-ass you know uh playthroughs i guess and um i'm not even good at that because i can't uh i don't even have a full playthrough of this game on my channel you know what i mean like i I've played through a lot of it, but I never completed it. Like, I've beaten the game, but I never completed a full uh, recording of it. You know what I mean? I'm, I suck at staying consistent with stuff. There's a million games out there, and I want to play all of them. And uh, I also have a full-time job. This isn't my full-time job. So, in the end, as I'm rambling on, in the end, what I'm stuck with is just playing whatever the fuck I want to play and recording whatever the fuck I want to record. And then editing this shit and sharing it on here. So, that's what I'm doing right now. If you enjoy this, cool. If not, you know what I mean? It's all good. There's, there's other people to watch. You know what I mean? Get down there. Like a turd going down the toilet bowl. Uh, we need to go this way. Actually, yep. There we go. Perfect. Crap. Yeah, so anyway, I, I did a full playthrough of uh, the Black Labyrinth uh, DLC in hard. Hard difficulty. Uh, just for, you know, for stream sake. It's on my VOD channel. I'm not going to post it on uh, my main channel because, like I like I said earlier, nobody's really going to watch that shit anyway. Um, not to take anything away from the game. It's just, you know what I mean? That's just, uh, that's my channel, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you're welcome to go over to, uh, you know what I mean, my VOD channel and watch it if you want to watch it. Honestly, uh, I recommend you just, just get the game yourself and play it. Soul and Fire, Water and Blood. And I've already played through this episode here. Uh, uh, after beating the Black Labyrinth, I just wanted to do it again. And I figured, you know, maybe there's a slight chance I'll play through the full game on, you know, for my channel, for the YouTubes. And, uh, you know, I mean, I might as well start with this one. Um, unlike, I've, I think I recorded a couple of videos for a medieval. Um, I'm just rambling and, fight and fighting, dude. So don't, don't judge. Don't judge how I'm playing. Uh, yeah, I think I recorded a couple of videos before, and uh, they're all over the place. You know, some with RTX on, some with it off, because uh, my other PC really couldn't handle it. And now I'm running, you know, I got a new PC. <laughs> I got a new PC now, of course, and uh, I mean, I don't know if you really... I got a long... This is going to be a long playthrough of this first episode, so I might as well... Yeah, I got, like, whatever the newest, like, Intel 13,900 billion KF is... You know what I mean? And, um... <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, an RTX 4080. So this thing has no problem, uh... You know what I mean? Uh, rendering out the game and ray tracing. So I got ray tracing maxed out. Not that it matters. It doesn't take away from the game. But it does add visually to how amazing the fucking thing looks. I mean, this is fantastic. This looks absolutely stunning. The way that a medieval looks with ray tracing on, I think is perfect. You don't need any more fidelity or quality added to the game. The colored lighting, the reflections, uh, the perfect amount of pixelation. You know, I have anti-aliasing off always, all day, every day. And uh, I mean, this is perfect. This is a perfect game. 
In my opinion, of course. It depends on what you like. Some people like Call of Duty. Not judging, just saying. That shit's done, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, the point of this game was, uh, or the point of this video was really, I just wanted to record something and I wasn't sure what I wanted to record it. And I was like, well, honestly, what it comes down to is I just want to fucking, I just want to play something, right? So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm playing and I press the record button. So here I am. Don't expect anything else. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, I mean, look at this. Look at this game. Look at this. When's the last time you punched the shit out of somebody's face in in Call of Duty, bro? Never. When's the last? Time, when's the last time you did that in Call of Duty, bro? Never. Exactly. I'm just playing. If you like Call of Duty, it's all good. Or whatever the hell is out there. Do people even play Call of Duty anymore? Or is it like all, um, <clears throat> like Apex, whatever the shit, Apex Legends or Valorant? Valorant, Legend, Fort, Fort Valorant, X, Excel Knight, or whatever. I don't know. What the shit do people play nowadays? I don't pay attention to trends, you know what I mean? Like, I don't watch massive YouTubers. Like, maybe Markiplier is probably the biggest YouTuber I watch, and that's because he's funny as shit, and I've been watching him since Drunk Minecraft days. But other than that, like, I don't watch big streamers. I don't watch big YouTubers. I pay attention to trends. I don't even watch the fucking news, because what's going on out there really doesn't fucking affect me, so I don't give a shit. Um... And, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. What do, what the fuck? What do you play? What do people play? If anybody is still watching this right now, comment down below what the shit you play. I'd like to know. And, uh, you know what I mean? Then we can have a discussion about it. Maybe the next time I hit record and I, I ramble on for, uh, you know, a bunch of minutes, then, uh, we can talk about it. Or maybe one time when I stream, we can talk about it. I don't know, man. Speaking of streaming, I stream inconsistently, too. Is this echo in here? This looks like there's something back there, bro. Bro, let me... Oh, well, okay. I'm curious, um, I think one of the things that's definitely changed with the Black, with the main campaign after you beat the Black Labyrinth is that you can get the, uh, the Void Splitter. I think that's what the, what the weapon is called, I'm pretty sure. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this guy right Oh, the Eternum. Oh, it's not in here in the Codex. But I'm pretty sure you can get the Void Splitter in the main campaign after you beat the Black Labyrinth DLC. I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll see, right? Uh, get that shit out the way. This guy's dead. I'll deal with those guys in a second. We're going to get up close and personal in a second. If I'm moving the master around a little bit too fast, I'm sorry. Use the Whisper's Edge wisely. It may strike many foes at once. Yes, I am aware of the Whisper's Edge ability. If you angle it right... You can hit many foes at once. Like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, I fucked up there, but. Bro, who would win in a fight? Doom guy or the champion? Be honest. The champion, obviously. Bro, are you kidding me? Fucking, the champion doesn't have to breathe on the water. Dude has four fucking eyeballs. Come at me, bro. Champion can launch fucking stars and planets at you, dude. Like, dude, guy never did. Yeah, he's got a BFG 9000, but still, you gotta shoot that shit multiple times, bro. The, the void splitter with soul with soul power, dude, it literally annihilates space and time. I don't even know what this shit it does. You'll see when I get it. Or you can play the Black Labyrinth DLC yourself and figure it out. Whatever. How you can? How you can? Oh, I'm gonna punch the shit out of you. I'll take this. Thank you. I need that. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. What's this say? Platform to the Bastion of the Blue Moon. Sick. Let's go. All right, there we go. Nice one. 
I know there's some secrets and stuff. I'm man, I'm literally just flying through. I don't care. Perfect. 92%. Uh, that's not that's not my best, but whatever. Now this level. I love this level. This level looks so good. I love FPS games that have thick fog and a lot of like gray stone with like green moss on it. I don't know. It's just that very specific aesthetic that I love. See that right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that later. I hear you down there. Where you at, bro? Somebody's down here. I believe there is a secret over right here somewhere. Thought there was. Should I even bother, uh, like, using weapons in here right now? These beginner dudes? Like, I don't even think so, man. We're about to surprise the shit out of these guys. Fucking hop out of here. Yeah! Get wrecked, nerd. I'm over here, guys. Pay attention. Look at this. Look at this. The Whisper's Edge, buddy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I thought you could deflect this. I thought you could parry. Uh, maybe it's the other guys I'm thinking about. Oh, y'all done fucked up. Oh, let's get over here real quick. Yeah, yeah, keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. Where's the rest of you? What's up, bro? Excellent. <laughs> you bitch. Hey, check this out. Did you know that there was a Celestial Claw over here? <laughs> oh, when I said Champion has a weapon that can launch planets, but the Doom Guy doesn't? <laughs> That's gonna be like my most random fucking video at all. And this is honestly like what my streams are, so... It's not really that far off from the quote-unquote content that I put out. Speaking of content... How many people are gonna Ooh, look at this. I never I never seen this. Is this a secret, bro? Ho ho ho! I've never found this. Come at me, bro. What's up? Hold on, I'll finish my thought in a second. Nice! I've never I never knew that secret was there, bro. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, what I was going to say is, how many people just start, like, a YouTube channel or a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the fuck platform you want to pick, and then just immediately label themselves a content creator? I'm so fucking tired of people calling themselves content creators when they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. I barely know what the fuck I'm doing, but... This game's so badass. Yeah, anyways, I think, uh... I just get super judgy and shit because so many people copy what other people do. And then, uh, you know, it works for most people, especially on TikTok. Everybody's just regurgitating everybody else's shit. But, uh, it's just, it becomes so, like, everything's the fucking same. Like, there's almost nobody doing anything different. There's no novelty, like, anymore. Everything's already been done. And everybody just does what the fuck everybody else is already doing. So everybody's basically just 
eaten from the same bowl of shit. YouTube has gotten so fucking boring. Like, I have a hard time finding shit to watch nowadays because everything's the same. I don't give a shit about, like, I, there's some people that make reviews on games and I respect them for their ability to do that because I can't do that. You know, some people make some really incredible videos and they put a lot of time and effort. So, uh, you know, I respect them for what they do, but I personally don't care about reviews. Like, I don't, I don't watch a review to decide on whether I'm going to buy a game or not. If I like the way the game looks and the trailer is and shit, I just buy it and then I play it. I know some people, like, you have to watch a review, which is cool, which is fine. Those things are there for people. Obviously, people watch that shit. And, uh, and that's and that's why those videos work out and they succeed. But, uh, you know, like, videos on tips and tricks and my five top recommendations and my speculations and, oh, here's my reaction to this shit or watch my review or this game comes out in three years. Here's our thoughts on the speculations from some other, by some other person's tips and tricks. And shit, like, all that shit I don't care about. And 90% of YouTube and, and, like, shit is that that's what it is. It's fucking annoying. It's sad that, like, there's not that many people except for people that I have been doing, uh, you know, like playthroughs, like just Let's Plays for years that the channels can, you know, continue to succeed and be big like that. It's sad that, like, almost nobody else is doing that. And if you are, you're you're like me. You're playing shit and nobody's really watching your shit because uh, nobody cares about playthroughs. And for me, that's all it is. Like, I like games, I like playing games, and that's it. That's the extent of it. I mean, there's a lot of games I don't like. It's all good. Everybody has games they like and they don't like. They want to play. They don't want to play. But, uh, man, it's like everybody's doing the same shit to see just what works. And they're treating, you know, their channels like a job instead of fucking having fun. And uh, it's sad over the years to see so many big channels with, like, YouTubers that were, you know, had a lot more fun. You could tell they had a lot more fun years ago. But now that they're, you know, they're so into it and it's it's become nothing but business to them, they don't enjoy it as much. It's just become a job. Uh, it's kind of like when I was working at a brewery for like 10 years plus I studied the fuck out of beer dude all I wanted to do was get out of the National Guard quit my job and uh, you know work at a brewery so I worked on that for a long time and I did it and I was really really wanted to I home brewed for years and I still I mean I knew I knew I, I mean I still know a lot about beer but I knew a fuck ton more than you know than I remember even and uh, you know I've forgotten a lot obviously but I still know a shit ton about beer is what I'm trying to say and, uh, you know, I finally got into the industry. I was a bartender first, and then I tried working on small batches. And then uh, I got to the point where I was working at a brewery, helping them with production and shit. And, um, I mean, maybe it was a, just a mixture of the environment or, uh, you know, having to do it for work 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but you know what I mean, like as a job. And... I almost instantly lost the passion for it. You know, it wasn't fun anymore. I was doing it for work and I was not enjoying it. And it's like, you look forward to something like that. And then when you actually start doing it for work and no longer doing it because you enjoy it, it kind of ruins it. And that's become the same thing for, I think for a lot of people doing YouTube or TikTok or whatever fucking media platform you fucking choose. It really doesn't matter. They're all the fucking same. And, uh, I think it's one of the reasons I, I have that struggle with like YouTube and like streaming shit because I do what I find fun so I can keep it fun for me. And fun for me isn't always consistent. It isn't always whatever the latest game is. Uh, it isn't always like what's trending, you know what I mean? Or what other fucking people are playing. I'm not gonna do a video and tell you how to play. Like fucking buy the game and play it yourself. That's not my job to tell you how to play. And uh, so I mean, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm just rambling because I, you know, I mean, I got a lot of shit going on right now. Hey, let's grab this real fast and punch everybody in the face. I think I'm going to call this video like the ramblings of a champion. That's what I'm going to do. It. <laughs> I told you there was no point to this video. Like, I'm just fucking playing and talking, bro. Let's go up here real quick and punch the shit out of these dudes before we run out. Oh, we're still running. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought we ran out of uh, soul power. I wouldn't have uh, grabbed any more of these souls. All right, let's hop down here real fast because there's some... Um, pick up someone to pick up. No! Okay, well, I didn't mean to go that far. Found a secret, though. Hell yeah. I think the point of all this bullshit that I'm spewing at the mouth about is that I respect people more that like they're playing something and they're sharing whatever they're doing 
you know, because they enjoy it, not so much to uh, force reactions. God, there's so many people forcing reactions these days. And you can just smell the fake in the air, dude. Like, it's so fucking annoying. Uh, yeah, there's too many fake people out there that are doing shit just because of, you know, for views and stuff. And I get it. Hey, man, if that's what makes you money and it works and you succeed at it, do it. I'm totally not hating, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I'm just talking shit. If anybody's hearing anything I'm saying, I'm sure I'm going to get some hate hate in the comments. Which I guess, you know what I mean? That's, uh, that's uh, what you call it. Um, I guess a lot of people get... They say, like, dumb shit to get, like, negative attention. Just to get, you know... To get some, uh... I don't know. To get negative attention, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. I'm also trying not to fucking die, so whatever. Passageway to the Vault of Midnights. Uh, if you don't know, don't go in there. Go this way first, right? And then, uh, and then, uh, come back, uh, this way, right? Find this little secret area, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I could've got this in the beginning of the level two, actually. I just forgot about it. Wait, why am I still using my mana? Get the fuck out of here. I heard somebody else. Where are you? That's fine. I'll take care of you once I get this bull trap, bro. Wrecked. Bull trap secret power reveals with overkill. It does, indeed. I'll show you. I think I've killed everybody in this level, though. So uh, maybe I'll show you next level. Wait, wrong way. There we go. All right, cool. Hey, so if you're still watching and you're listening to me ramble, why, why don't you comment below if you agree with me and if you don't agree with me or what you agree with and what you don't agree with. Uh, or jump into my chat sometime and talk about it. I don't give a shit, whatever. Overkill. It was a little, it was a little overkill to use overkill on them, but. Oh, damn, bro. That was good shit. Good job, Andrew Holschult. Music's fucking amazing. Oh. Oh. Man, I'll try to fucking read, bro. Anyways, our leader, guardian of the moon, he now dreams of death and pain. Sad times. Overkill. Oh shit. Bro, you're done, bro. Bro, you're done, bro. Oh, there he is. I got something for you, bro. <laughs> Todd, you throwing that shit. I'll probably just like upload this video just as is. No edits except for the audio, just to make sure your audio is good, you know what I mean? Because I give a shit about that. Not many people do. Some of you need to turn your audio up in your videos, man. Uh, anyways. Um, yeah, and fuck it. I mean, whatever. Uh, midnight, moonlight, sun be gone. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Dude, the new, yeah, the new Black Labyrinth is, it's pretty badass. <laughs> there was a lot of surprises in it too that I wasn't expecting. Wait a second, where you at, bitch? Get your ass down here. No, the sky up here, dick. Are you still? There you go.
Overpowered, bitch. Give me that. Y'all want to see a star? <laughs> I missed too, but good shit. That was badass. I'll take all that. Sweet! You know, I'm playing messy as shit, like, on purpose. I'm just running around and... I'm just running around and killing, you know. Doing what a champion does. Ridding this world of evil. Get up the rocks. Get There you go, there you go, there you go. Ooh, wait, I want that. Yeah! <clears throat> Alright, let's get across this. Oh, I almost fell. That would have... That would have sucked. Let's grab this orange mana. <laughs> Overkill. What's up, bitch? Get up there. There you go. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, bitch. What was I talking about? Doesn't matter. Power mother sucker. Let's grab these and then go down the hole. By the moon, I feel worried. By the moon, do I feel worried. I mean, I'm not worried. They're worried. Should be worried. No fall damage in medieval. I feel like he's punching slower than normal, right? Oh well. <laughs> this uh this game of medieval in VR, dude. It's fucking crazy good. Um Have I done any videos in VR? I don't think I have. I've played the shit out of it in VR. I haven't beat it yet. But uh Sure, yeah. I think I tried to record something and uh, I didn't like the way it sounded because I was just recording like in the Quest 2 headset itself and it, it wasn't the best. The recording wasn't the best and the audio quality wasn't the best. I don't know if I did share anything. I don't know. I think it's a fuck. I'd like to, I'd like to um, play through it in, a, in a VR because they did good, man. It obviously looks better if you play uh, if you play the VR version off a of PC. It obviously looks way better. But uh, man, trying to play a game on the PC with a Quest 2 headset is a pain in the ass. It really is. I have to take a headset on and off like five fucking times and do this. And Facebook's stupid fucking app wants to be up and running. And then, oh god, it's so fucking annoying. And then it loads up in the wrong screen. And then the sound is all fucked up. And the windows changes with the, where the fuck they put audio to. So now the microphone isn't recording. It's so annoying. And a couple times I've tried to record like, um, I try to record uh, No Man's Sky. Do like some No Man's Sky VR videos. Because uh, that's one of the first games I wanted to play when I got my headset a couple months back. Dude, I was so frustrated just trying to get the game to fucking run in VR and get everything set up. Like, by the time I was done, I didn't fucking feel like playing it anymore. So I just loaded the game up normal, like non-VR, and just played it on my own, off camera. Didn't give a shit anymore. So. 
like the Quest 2 headset is like probably the most for affordable headset you can get for, you know, to play VR games on the PC. But God damn, is it a pain in the ass. I hate that thing. Like, I like it because I can play VR games in it. It's really cool. And if you get a, if you purchase games inside the headset, like on the store, the Oculus store or whatever, it, no problem. But trying to play games off PC, for me at least, it's a pain in the ass. I don't enjoy it. So I kind of wish I had just saved my money and got like one of the expensive like Valve headsets or whatever HTC's latest headset is or whatever the fuck the latest one is. Just for ease of use. Some trippy shit, bro. <laughs> I gotta load up Valheim too. Man, Valheim, uh, they updated a couple days ago. Now they got uh, Hilder's, Hilder's quests in there. They got different difficulty settings now. Uh, man, I haven't I haven't played in my main world in Valheim in a bit. Um, I'm curious if you can make changes to it current worlds that you have or if you have to um like start a whole new start a whole new game i don't know let me start that back up play play some more about it hiding bro you're fucking done bro what's this thing the solar acolytes think they are so great who is that it's not like somebody was coughing all right, let's grab this key. Let's fuck these dudes up. Done. Okay, let's grab the this man over here. This one and this one and this one and never mind, we're done. And let's get the shit out of here. A plane's so messy, like, I don't even care. It's fun. How long have I been recording? I started at, uh, 1644 35. Uh, so like, um, I don't know, like 30 minutes or something. Continue. All right, we're almost done with this episode. I will probably destroy this dude and call this video over. And then uh, maybe I'll record the next one. We'll see. All that was good is gone. Use these items to defeat the Guardian. You really don't need these because he's, he's actually pretty simple. He's definitely the easiest boss in the game. Man, this place is fucking gorgeous, dude. But you know we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some damage. You know what I mean? Take this for sure. Give me that. What's up, bro? I'll get that afterwards so that we can start the next world with like axe dot health and shit. <sighs> Let's save that. <laughs> I tried to kill him with the fists. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. Uh, when's the last time I saved? I mean, there was probably an auto save, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, there was an auto save. <laughs> this guy's the easiest guy in the game, bro. And then dies. Oh yeah, let's go get the. Let's get all this extra shit over here. Read that. Good to go. I think by now I should have the, um... Uh, what's the other weapon I'm thinking of? The star fragment, uh, star, uh, peace launcher thing? Bro, you ever been hit in the face with a star? And then we'll finish him with our fist. Done. Where are you going, bro? 
Good shit. Good shit, everybody. You did good. All right, let's pick up all this shit. Uh, including the health. Yeah! And that. And I think 200 are max. It is. All right. Gorgeous. And we're done. Pars one minute. I failed. Excellent. Cool. Well, that's the first one. That is the Astral Equinox. All right. So uh, I guess I'll end this video here. I mean, if you're still watching, god damn, good job. Um, yeah, I'm going to take off. Maybe I'll record uh, another one and just do some ramble, random ramblings. Honestly, like I'll probably get the same amount of engagement if I plan to play through it and talk to you about the game or just randomly ramble, which is what I do on my streams anyway. So, I mean, uh, fuck it. It is what it is. Hey, guys. Cheers. Catch you next time.